Hello, my name's Craig. I'll be your captain for the show tonight. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll be... It's a pretty boring routine journey to bedtime. Uh, but before we get going, uh, Tuyen and Lisa are going to take you through the uh, safety instructions. Please follow along carefully. <laughs> I'm started. It's adorable. I was like, what airline is this? It was like, sexy air. Anyway, here you go. Uh, the overhead lockers are above your seat. Uh, do the thing while I say it. If you, like, you do the thing and I, yeah. The overhead lockers are above your seat. Yes. Uh, there are two uh, exits in front of you and the nearest exit may be behind you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I just realised we cussed everybody out in deaf sign language. <laughs> Is that true, did we? No, I know how to cuss in sign language. What, well, I don't show you? Why? Wouldn't that be good? All right, um, the, uh, the if in the unlikely event of a water landing, swim away from the aircraft using the breaststroke. <laughs> or the backstroke. <laughs> well, I think, I think they look great. I'm gonna get one of these. <laughs> it's not, it's not the army, Lisa. You don't have to like... <laughs> anyway. It'll be an awkward kind of a show tonight. I think. <laughs> you might experience a little turbulence. Don't worry, it's perfectly routine, and uh, we'll get you where you need to be. <laughs> Perhaps you could mime that. <laughs> Would you like me to mime it? <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Ford. Go further. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. two guys that I saw, one guy going, who is he? <laughs> really? I saw, I just, I, I was looking at Lesbian Row and I saw another guy going, who's, who's that? And the other guy was like, I don't know, we didn't get to the prices right, but this will do, won't it? <laughs> no, sir, this will not do. <laughs> this will do. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. <laughs> It's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. It a great... Well, I say that, but actually it's not such a great day if you're addicted to sex. <laughs> this is true. Apparently, the American Psychiatric Association jerks. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Maybe they could tell me why I said it. 
The American Psychiatric Association announced today that sex addiction does not actually qualify as an official psychiatric diagnosis. And I'm like, actually, you know, I'm glad. I like being a regular old pervert. Don't make me sound... <laughs> you don't have to make it sound fancy to me. I'm just a regular old creepy guy. <laughs> I'm just meat and potatoes. <laughs> That's my addiction. I like to have sex with meat and potatoes. <laughs> Are you seriously scandalised by that? It's a joke. I don't really have sex with meat and potatoes. You're like, oh! I do. I have sex with food. I just did it right there before it came out. I, I, I had a snack. Anyway, it's a great day to be a teacher. Uh, today is Teacher Appreciation Day. We've got a graphic for that, do we? Uh, hey, uh... Right. Put the graphic away! Take a... that's, the, that's the first time I've ever actually survived the explosion at the end of the graphic. <laughs> Anyway, it's the, the first National Teachers' Day was in 1953, so that's, um... That's, uh, <laughs> almost 300 years ago. Uh, and the traditional gift for the teacher today, of course, is uh, apples. Though, may I suggest a better way? How about cash? <laughs> I think pay them more. Enough of the polishing the apple crap. Pay, you know what? Pay all the teachers more. That's, they don't need... Uh, you know, they, they do. Pay, yes, they do. Except maybe, uh, except the art teachers. They don't need more money because all they, all they want to do is get high off the glue and the marker. So let them get out of it. If I ran the world, teachers would, would make whatever they wanted because without teachers, we wouldn't have schools. And without schools, we wouldn't have had the show Saved by the Bell. And without, <laughs> without Saved by the Bell, we wouldn't have had Mario Lopez. I rest my case. <laughs> and since it's an election year, I'm sure both candidates will be falling over themselves telling you how much they support public education. Yet neither one of them has ever sent any of their kids to a single day of public school. But I am sure, I am sure that that's the only area in which they will be a tiny bit hypocritical. <laughs> I'm saying the opposite of what's true. <laughs> But I don't think the audience have realised that. <laughs> Especially the guys who are still trying to figure out who the <laughs> I am. <laughs> Wait, is that Drew Carey? He sounds Irish. <laughs> when do they spin the wheel? <laughs> In a way, it's already spinning. Anyway, it's Teacher's Day. And te these days, teachers have got it rough. Kids are all hyperactive now. They're all disobedient and, and obnoxious. And uh, it must be like being in a, locked in a room full of drunk midgets being a teacher. <laughs> Maybe not as much fun. <laughs> oh, I... <laughs> I've always appreciated my teachers. When I was 16, I gave them the greatest gift I could think of. I dropped out of school. But before I left... <laughs> Before I left, I did have a favourite teacher. He was an older man with a long white beard. He always believed that I was destined for something great. In the end, he even sacrificed his own life to protect me. Thank you, Professor Dumbledore. <laughs> he also taught me about my Patronus. Uh... <laughs> and the thing I used to scare Dementors. I said Patronus instead of penis there. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> what I did was, I said Patronus instead of penis. I was saying Patronus, I was thinking penis. I don't think the audience understood. <laughs> Except the two guys who have now figured out where the they are. Wait. This is the guy that says words instead of penis. Yes! <laughs> you know, I went back to my high school last month. Well, next week, because the shows are next week, because we shot these shows in Scotland. But last month, next week, look, shut up. Anyway, look, I, I went back to my high school and everything was completely different. The cafeteria had food which you could eat. 
The nurse didn't use leeches anymore. There was no corporal punishment at all. It was horrendous. And I said to the principal, how could everything have changed so much? How a building that in my day was associated with chaos and violence and surly drunkenness had now become a place of learning. And he said, well, you left and then everything just straightened right out. <laughs> But I'll tell you this, they say give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, but teach a man to fish and he'll get his own show on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> That's true. Dangerous Catch, uh, the, yeah, the River Monsters, Tuna Patrol, um, <laughs> Haddock Quest. You got any, Jeff? No, I got nothing. <laughs> really? Well, uh, what is there, Haddock? Haddock? Is there Haddock in there? Yeah, I just said... Didn't I say Haddock? Did you say Haddock? I said Haddock. Said Haddock. I said, well, were you, do you even know who I am? You see, what Craig's doing here right now is he's trying to discover the... Uh, yeah, never mind, forget it. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to break down what you were doing there. Oh, you were breaking down what I was doing? Yeah, like, was, when I was saying... Yeah, exactly. What they don't understand. Like that? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was doing something that right. didn't really work. Yeah. And because it didn't really work, you thought you would do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> well, at least we learned something, and that's appropriate for National Teachers Day, isn't it? That's very true, Craig. We did learn something. I think I, I, I laid too heavily into the Harry Potter Patronus stuff there. I don't think people understood. Because a lot of these people are Slytherin, clearly. <laughs> Very clearly, that's very clear. Yeah. What's your house again in uh, in uh, Hogwarts? Uh, Huff Hufflewank. <laughs> Hufflewank. That's right. Hufflewank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a small. Uh, well, there's only you in it, right? No, oh, it, it's small, but it's rather large. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. It does if you give it a minute. All right. Sure. It's commercial time. That part on the show where Craig spreads the bake, polishing his apple. We've got a little bit of work to do, but I think we're getting there. <laughs> My first guest is an American rock and roll legend. He's a judge on American Idol, Wednesdays on Thursdays and Fridays and every other day, really, on most days on the Fox Network. Please welcome the great Steven Tyler, everybody. <laughs> You look wow. great. Thank you very much. You'd you know be surprised I... how expensive it costs to look this cheap. Wow, well, I'm telling you, it looks fantastic. You are. Uh, you, <laughs> you know what I like about you? Not yeah. only do you look like a rock and roll legend, you smell Ooh, like yeah. a. You got that? Yeah, you That's got it. A... Oh, to low time. It's really. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. You got a lot going on there. Did the sound I man say anything uh, about that? Look at this button opened up. It was that yeah. horse's ass that walked by me. <laughs> Um, Did you see the flight I attendants on, on the way on I the way out? That. Yeah, marching up and down, flight attendants. That's mm. the way. We miss that. You should have some of that on American Idol. You know, I think I'll talk to the guys about it. What guys? The guys that run Idol. Who, is that still Simon Cowell? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Cal was who I took his place of. Yeah, I know, but doesn't right, he so like? Isn't he backstage saying, so "Say no, something God, no. mean, no, Stephen. Say other, something mean." <laughs> Does he do that? Did you know him before that? Did you know him no. from the music business? No, no, no. But I turned the show on once and I heard him be mean and I thought uh, it was based on he didn't like country and western and I thought, well, that's silly because music is a beautiful thing heard by the ears of them that hear it. It shouldn't be judged as I don't like this country and western thing. Right. And, and so I just, you know, 
Um, is that a harmonica over there? Yeah, yeah. Don't even Ooh. talk to me about that, right, man. Because, okay. like... So well, here's the thing. You can win the Golden Harmonica on the show, but I kind of think I should just give you the Golden Harmonica. It's not like it's going to be, oh, is Stephen going to be able to play the harmonica? Is that like a marine band, a real one that can be played? Well, it's a little one. We usually Sorry. do it at the end, but I don't know. Oh, no, no, we no we'll wait till the end. Let's get back to Simon Cowell. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so you get along with him then? I have not met him yet. but Really? I, no, no, no. He's, he's been here on the show. Yeah. He doesn't smell nearly as good as you, I have to tell you. Yeah. Is, is it too he's much? Got it. You know what he smells like? Tea. <laughs> oh, the tea bags. Yeah, yeah, a little bit like your tea bags. Yeah, he sounds well, like it. Hey! Is yeah. that not where you were going with it? No, listen, I'll go wherever you want. Okay. I don't care. It's what fine. What did I say? Life's uh -oh. when you're European. You like that? I do like that, yeah. <laughs> well, I am European. You're not a bit European, aren't you? I understood that. Aye. Yeah. Yeah. What's the about? No, I didn't understand. No, okay. I, uh, have you ever been to Scotland? Yes, I have. Do you play golf? I uh, know. <laughs> you know you should. Just to piss them off when they see you walk on the golf course, they'd be no, like, no, no. "Oh no!" Nope. You're like, "Yeah." I do, and I did with my dad, but uh, but and I loved it because it's a quiet moment on the green. It's you and the balls, and kind of like the business. <laughs> Fortunately, I still have my two. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got the one left, but oh, it was a rough God. 80s for me. Right? Well, Yo. you're, you're in television. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no, they take them all in television. I can't do anything here now. I'm, my hands are tied. The only thing I can do is walk up and down with a horse and a couple of ladies oh. dressed as... You know, you do such a good job. I need to say that I, I, I'm doing this show because you're real. You're so real. Thanks, man. And, and, yeah. and I love you for that, and all of America loves you for that, because... I, I love you. No, no, they do. Yeah. They do. You're beyond real. Yeah. You are. Hey. <laughs> That's what I didn't say. Beyond real. Beyond real, yeah. <laughs> Surreal, in fact. Uh, Listen, tell me about seeing the American Idol when the kids get there, and yeah. you know, people are always kind of uh, they criticize that when you know dreams are crushed by the young singers. But that happens all the time in the music business, anyway, doesn't it? It does. You know, I didn't want to take Idol because I thought that to be a star, you had to play the clubs, and you had to fail in the clubs. You had to fall down and get booed off the stage to so really get that get that inner crust of of who you think you are. But these kids. Like Jessica, she's 16. Where does she get that voice from? Yeah. And and a lot of the kids that we see, there's where I, I turn my head around. They really can sing. So that just because they don't play all the clubs, they're yeah. going to be put through the coals of time just getting to the the top ten. Yeah, I, mean, I think that. I think that. But you know what? I think I think there's also there like people can have talent, mm -hmm. but I think in the business that you're in and yeah. in the business, I think that talent's just where you start. It's just like having your driver's license. It's yeah, like yeah. yeah, you're going to need that mm -hmm. now. Are you going to be able to survive and, you know, do you have the skill and the ability to negotiate the utter... Ay, caramba! ...who are involved behind the scenes? That's right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's the problem. Real! Oh, God. Do you, do you think you became something of... I mean, because you had quite a, you know, a spectacular and a flamboyant and have... Uh, still got a spectacular and flamboyant career. Do you think you became a businessman through all of that? Well, somewhere around 88, I got sober the first time, and Joe and I made a, made a pact to, to start carrying the, the valises. You know, in other words, yeah. hang out with the lawyers, find out what the business is, because up until then, <clears throat> it was, you got a great deal with this and a great deal with that. Money managers, business managers, they try to take you down. And it's interesting, of course, you don't know they are until you look. Yeah. And we I would know. never have seen it until we got sober. Because they're always friendly. I... They're always like, hey, you look great, buddy. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. You, you don't know if they're trying to work you to keep your high and so you're not looking or what. But as soon as we looked, and so right now, you know, it's a new, like, for instance, the last nine years was, was a bit of a trudge for yeah. me. My, my parents, both my parents passed away, and yeah, the kids left for school, yeah. and the dogs passed, and all these great excuses for me using again, yeah. which is my fault. I did. Yeah. But, you know, it caused great rifts, great hatred, in fact, hot heaping helpings of hate amongst me and one said Joe Perry. Yeah. But through all that, we just finished an album with Jack Douglas that's beyond my wildest expectations. That's fantastic. Aerosmith Congratulations. is back. That's great. It's, I mean, he plays his ass off. Tom, Joey, and Brad play so good. Everybody's when is the album ready? When, so, is, when is the on. album? When is the album ready? Uh, it comes out September. Well, well, you know what? We got a new studio. We uh, got a new studio opening up in uh, in round about September. Yeah. Come and bring the band in. You play, open up our new studio. We got a big you. place for a band yeah. to play. You yeah, can do yeah. it. That would be proper, like a band. We now you and if you say it on TV, that means it's real, man. Uh oh. <laughs> 
Uh-oh. Yeah, I just I just suited you right there. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, we're a very old-fashioned band, and I may seem as the front guy, but it's we all... Yeah, it's you all, all gotta one, talk I got to talk to those guys. Yeah, yeah, that's what I say when people say, hey, you got to come around and go, got to talk to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Kind of the same thing, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. It's like a marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know, I, I toured a little bit once with uh, the Rolling Stones. I was Ooh. writing a... a a screenplay for Mick Jagger. Ah. And so I had to tour around with them a little bit. Yeah. And I was amazed how much of, like, a band they still were. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys, I guess, are still the same. It's like, you all still kind of little arguments, little, you know, it's like oh, yeah. little spinal tap yeah. going on yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. They know when we're doing something. Yeah. Each one of us knows when the other ones bring up a past behavior that's like, so we laugh at it now. Yeah. But, you know, um, um, the sad truth is, is when you're high, you don't laugh at it. There's no humor. Yeah. Like they were looking for another lead singer, and I actually took it personal because I was high. Yeah. And I, now, I, no, I, I, it, I don't know it's, it's even. I think Aerosmith was a different lead singer. I think you're allowed to take that person. Yeah, okay, so hard. Yeah. No, 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 no. It was really, a totally no. unreasonable position to take. Uh, you know, so but but it, but it's those real things that most people don't know about. We just did 60 minutes. Yeah. I wrote a book. I mean, if you read it, you'll know what's really goes on. But that's really what it takes to to you know, for you know, pressure. I read, I read your book. Oh. I read because uh -oh. my editor, the guy edited my uh, memoir, yeah. edited yours. Yikes. And he sent. He said like I was writing mine. And he said yours is boring. <laughs> I've got the, he said I've got the first 10 pages of Tyler's autobiography. Ooh. I went. Let me see it. So he let me see. It. So you can't let anybody uh, let let you know. You can't tell anybody, so I'm not telling anybody. Mm. But he let me see it, yeah. and it was talking about the girl up, upside down in the shower with oh. the shot glass. Oh and my the... God! <laughs> well, God bless you, man. There you go. Take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Hey, those high notes and I'm not sure whether what I loved more was was your outfit your band or this set on idol right. but you know Gaga knows that secret she knows the secret that you don't want to try to get to the other shore you got to lose sight of this one okay and you're doing that real real well thank you real well keep thank taking you. chances and risks and doing what you're doing Well, when you let it go, when you just let it go and go crazy. I love that. Now, I want, welcome back, everybody. I am. Um, <laughs> let's talk about uh, Run DMC. Mm. You know, when you guys did that, mm. the uh, Walk This Way, that was at a time when I remember that most of the music community, and by that I mean white guys, mm. were not taking uh, hip hop music seriously at all. Yeah, that was the beginning of it. Right. And we were on tour, and uh, I think we were just starting to come around. And, um, and uh, uh, the guys called us up and said, come on down and play, play along this track, because uh, we scratched to it. And uh, you know, we had heard what was going on, but we weren't really, really into it. And we came down, and Rick Rubin is the one, he was responsible right. for that. And they started uh, you know, rapping it and talking it, and they were using the record, and I said, no, no, let me sing that. And Joe grabbed the uh, guitar from one of the Beastie Boys, who, God bless them, just lost their yeah, guy. Yeah, it's terrible news, um, yeah. Um, but but it was magic, you know. That was such a magic moment because it they took was. that backstroke of love. out was how to need the cover to talk do my daddy say because I was a drummer. Yeah. And I came from that rhythmic rhythmic, yah yah. Right. Uh, and, rhythmic yah yah. You yeah, see right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so um, it was just magic. It, it's it's it was, a it's a, it, uh, I think it did so much uh, to open up. It's like when you talk about musicians loving music. Yeah. It's it's I've I've noticed that in the music community, real musicians mm -hmm. don't care about genre at all, yeah. ever. Yeah. Like they always say, it's always interesting to watch you. They listen to a piece of music and go, oh yeah, that kind of. It's like when you see a real comedian, they're like, it doesn't matter who, who the guy if he's 90 years old or if he's a kid, they go, yeah, good joke. Never laugh. Yeah. You know, they just go, yeah, good joke. That's a good joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's like uh, when you watch a musician, they don't kind of they kind of go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. Well, there's our own language, you know. Yeah. And for those of us that still write music, I'm sitting down at a hotel, you know, with two speakers, and I'm writing lyrics to these riffs that Joe Perry came up with, and the band wrote these these bodies and shells of songs, and I got to put myself into it. So, you know, four hours later, I'm sitting there, mm-hmm, yeah, all right. Not quite sure if it's good, but I just let it go. And I go into the studio with Jack. I say, give me a mic. I run in and sing it. I come back out and listen. I go, yeah, that's it. That's but, great. But, but what really is it, you know? 
It's, it's that it's, magic moment. Yeah. And by the way, I've been sitting with uh, with with, uh, with um, John Lennon's son, um, or Julian Lennon. He's got a new record out right now too. And I just listened to that, and I got to tell you, for those of us that write our own stuff and have these words to say that don't doesn't matter, but it's what it is when it comes out, and that's it. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It made me cry. It was just so beautiful. But that's that's where I'm at right now. I'm every night till four o'clock. You know. Uh, sitting down listening and writing these songs and we're at the very last one and we're mixing right now i leave here and go and mix we're at swing house studios yes, and it's I, just i mean to be able to be in the goop of our creativity yeah it feels there's nothing like it on the planet there's Whenever, no high higher than than coming up with something and writing you know with joe and the guys yeah. and music and having it come out and listening to it there's nothing higher than well that. wait listen, but no, no way and wait, to have wait. you in a month from now be singing that chorus that i wasn't sure about yeah. Oh my God! You know what that must feel like? I, I tell you what it feels like. <laughs> I, I know. I, I'm talking to myself, and <laughs> it's like it's beyond anything else. It's just. What, what, is, what does it feel like, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> well, remember that girl in the shower with the. Ah, oh, yeah. Now I can relate. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fantastic. I once heard a very wise man in a kind of club that I attend say to me, your talent is none of your business. Mm. You, 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 shouldn't, you shouldn't try and think about how good, bad, or indifferent mm. you are. You just do it and then get out of the way. Yeah. Is that how you approach it, you think? You know, I've heard that. You know, what you think is none of my business. I was brought up Italian. It's impossible for me to think that. Yeah. I can't think that. Although I'm supposed to, therefore I won't be bummed out if you say, that looks stupid or sounds stupid or your band sucks. Well, that's because you're sensitive, mm. though. I mean, I can I tell from yeah. your, you know... Way. Your way. Way, way. You're, no, you're very sensitive. I can see that. And I kind of like that about me, so... Yes, it's all right. It's kind of attractive. I, <laughs> I, I'm not gay, but I would do you. <laughs> I love him! Yeah, it's just, it's just the way. I, and I look in the mirror before I come out, and I go, I do me. Yes! <laughs> that's the way you should feel! That's right. <laughs> we have to take one more break. We'll be right oh, back no, with Steven no, no, Tyler. No. <laughs> Girl with the dragon tattoo. What are you doing? Yeah, oh, hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Sorry, right, they're cool. I mean, if, oh. you, if you cuss, it'll be fine. Oh, God. Look, the truth is, Stephen, yeah. many people in America know that you do cuss in your private life. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, you know, I was just going to say, I was going to say, what is this in your... Oh, it's only water. That's, water. Uh, yeah, Don't you know you shouldn't drink water fish? Crikey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not that water, they don't. All right. We're out of time. What would you like? Uh, mouth organ, uh, awkward pause, or the big cash prize? Let me just tell you, though. In the mouth organ, if normally if a guest can play the mouth organ, mm -hmm. they can win the golden mouth organ, which is actually a very... It's a real thing. Like, it's a real harmonica. <laughs> like, you could use it in your job, I could is what be, I'm I saying. Could, well, we're gonna use it tonight on a song. Y yeah. And we could have com complete the chain there. The circle of life, the and, wheel and of fortune, so man. <laughs> Since I'm a very oral guy, I will take the mouth organ. <laughs> we start with this. Oh. We start with this. I have to ask you, can you play? It's just I have to ask. Okay, can I, I can play. Okay. Well, let's go then. All right, here we go. All right. If you're any good, we'll bring out the golden <laughs> mouth organ. All right, ready? You, yeah, okay. Who starts? Yeah, I'll start, and okay. then you, you pick it up, all right? Here we go. I got one better. <laughs> Good night, John boy. Oh. Pretty good. Stevie Wonder, eat your heart out. Yeah, that's Ooh. what I'm talking about. Thank you, ladies. Steven Tyler, let's hear it. <laughs> 
West is a very beautiful actress. Steven Tyler again? No. <laughs> She's a very beautiful actress. She stars in Heart of Dixie on Mondays on the CW. Take a look at this. <laughs> uh, run that by me again. <laughs> Let's welcome the lovely Jamie King, everybody. Jamie King. Lovely to see. I see you're color blocking this evening. I am. You are so fashion chic. That was a really weird clip. Kind of strange. I was going to ask you about it. I haven't even it. seen that episode, but well, I was watching that, there? and that was, that was very strange. Is I it can't a dream get away. It's, it is. I could tell. But it looked very odd, just that it one does little look piece. Weird, and yeah. I wasn't even acting. I was just kind of standing there and smiling. That's acting. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, if the part requires you to stand there and smile. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Are you a fan of Aerosmith? Did you see Steve? I did. I was yeah. talking to him. I saw his daughter last night, and she told me to tell him that she loved him. Oh, that's good. She could probably call her... She you know, could. She's probably got his number. She but they're both, him. like, rock and roll. Rock and roll. No, rock and I, they've just passed messages I people. don't actually talk to my own dad. I have actresses <laughs> do it. You talk... Is that Slytherin? What, the, no, I'm not Slytherin. Are you Harry Potter? I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Are you Gryffindor? No. What are you? All of them. You can't be all of them. No. I love all of them. That's such a Hufflepuff thing to say. Oh, my God, it is. It is. No, you're, you're, you've got to be Gryffindor, sh surely. It's true. Have you it's read true. all the books? I have not read all the books, but I've read all of the, watched all the movies. And I made uh, Butterbeer. Not the same, Jamie. Listen to them. Yeah, okay. Audiobooks. Oh, well, that's okay. Yeah. That's fine, yeah. You still have to make up the pictures in your head. All right, I, that's fine. I, I worry because the Goblet of Fire movie... Uh, didn't have Dobby in it, and then the whole Cedric Diggory storyline, they completely mangled it. I'm like, well, this I is Tootsie Fruits. Good at all! We, <laughs> we throw um, socks on our dog and we call him Dobby. You put socks on your dog and you call him Dobby? <laughs> we tell him he's freed. No, you can't do that. They don't like that. If they don't like that? No, you don't, you don't, can't free a house elf. They don't like it, don't they? I, they I, do if you're, if you're, yeah, they do. You, you're like, is, this is like talking to Hermione. Crocky Dinga. This, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Do you know who, uh, he was here? Daniel Radcliffe was here. He uh, was? Yeah. I saw him last night, actually. He's, where were you I was, last night? I was very, I was too nervous to say anything. I went like this, like as if he was going to know me, but he doesn't know me at all. Do you ever get that with famous people? I'm like, oh, yeah. I, yeah, I do that. I do all that the Harry with. Potter kids. Really? Yeah. Ron Weasley was here, too. Oh, he's, I, I met him. Oh, yeah. He's awesome. <laughs> he's my favorite. Oh, I think I could tell, yeah. <laughs> Do you like a ginger? Is that what it is? I like red hair. I do like red hair. A lot of people do. The ringers. They call them the ringers. The ringers? Ringers. Have you ever heard of that term? No. What does it mean? Have you seen Chris Lilly's show? Like Summer Heights High? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, look it up, look it up, look it up. Uh, look it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, oh, that's the Australian ginger. Yeah. Uh, no. So he calls no. gingers ringers. So, it's... I don't know what you're talking about. It's like an orangutan. Yeah. Oh, 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 like an orangutan. That's rude. It's mean. Yeah, that's terrible. That's why I don't want to say the whole thing. But aren't orang orangutans are the one with the big red bottoms, aren't they? I think they are. Yeah, I, I had to do this so you know what I meant when I said I bottom. see, I see. Yeah, big red bottom. Not that I've got a big red bottom. <laughs> How's your bottom? Is it red? It's red right now. Uh, is it? I feel like my face is red after talking about red bottoms oh, and orangutans. Oh, don't worry about it. It's <laughs> Fine. <laughs> it's all right. So, what's happening in the uh, House of Dixie, then? Heart of Dixie? Heart of Dixie? Yeah, that one. What's happening <laughs> in, the, in the wedding scenario? Because that... That, uh, that... 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 that clip, like, really freaked me out. You yeah. know, I've been in Winnipeg for the past... That freaked me out. I've been to Winnipeg. Have you been? Yeah. I, I feel, honestly, like, I feel, I, I, I can't, I gotta go back there tonight. Did you stay, did you stay at that hotel right at the end of Portage? That one in the Fort middle? Fort Scary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I walked down there. It was like The Shining. I wouldn't go. Really? I loved I, it. You loved <laughs> Yeah. You're the kind of person yeah, that No, I was right? like, oh, the two girls in the corridor? Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I would not. And no, none of my cast members slept. None of them. Really? Because they were all staying there. And some of them, they thought it was, like, so cool. But I'm just so not. I'm staying at, like, a really bland, boring apartment because I don't want to stay around any ghosts. No. Yeah. Why not? Because they're... Are you frightened of ghosts? Yeah. I'm amazed you came to this basement right here. Is it haunted? Haunted by the ghost of Jeff Peterson. 
Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's like a punk rock ghost, though. He's not scared. Yeah, well, well so it's the fashion is involved? If the, if the uh, if there's some kind of musical taste or fashion involved in the ghost, Yes, because the, the ghost at the Fort, it's the Fort Gary, but I call it the Fort Scary, probably right. like like little creepy girls, like in little 17th century, I just, I can't. Well, here's the thing, though. <laughs> that, that hotel wasn't built in the 17th century, so it's... Like the 18th century? I don't think Early so. Early 19th, for the train... No, the, I, think, I think it was built in the uh, early 1970s. No, it was not. So it was Disco Ghost? Yeah, Disco Ghost. That's no. what I like. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you believe in ghosts? I do. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had some weird experiences. Have you? So have I, but I don't know if I believe in ghosts. <laughs> no, I do, I think. I went to a haunted hotel in Omaha. You ever... I'm from Omaha. That's right. There's a there's a, a hotel in the middle of town, the Dean Hotel or something. You know what I'm talking about? No. I stayed in it. Was it the Dean Hotel? I can't remember. Or something like that. And I stayed in it, and I had to leave. That's like, why I didn't want to stay at that hotel. But it wasn't built in the 1970s. Well, look, well, look, I think we're talking about two different hotels. No, no, You're talking no, 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 like no, no, no. The, the, the Motel 8 of, like, Winnipeg. No, I'm no. talking about the Fort Gary look, of Winnipeg. Here's why I wasn't sprite. There was a Canadian ghost. A uh, Canadian ghost is going to be polite. It's like, ooh, sorry. Oh, you, That's you want the maple syrup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Canadian ghost is going to be friendly because Canadian people are friendly. They Makes are sense. very. They say sorry a lot. They do. And it's freezing up there, sort of like your stage. You know... <laughs> Do you know what I did once what? in Winnipeg? This is true. I was so <laughs> bored. I was there in the winter in that hotel. <laughs> you know this is true. I know because it's so... I know. It's I don't want to say it because I don't want to get in trouble. But oh, I, no, no. I, I, they're lovely people. They're it's, amazing people, but it's... What's the coming to go? It's really, uh, it's really boring. It's, it's kind of boring. And depressing. In and the cold. winter. Yeah. So I was stuck in my hotel room, shaved my entire body. <laughs> because you were staying in a haunted hotel. I just, and I bet the ghost I, told the you, really, and that's why I didn't stay there. No, I, there was nothing else to do. Shaved my entire body. How was that for I you? I looked like a giant baby. You did? Yeah. And I, and I was looking at myself How did mirror. your wife feel about that? Oh, we weren't married at the time. It was before uh, I met her. She wouldn't let me shave myself now. <laughs> did you use a lot of razors to do that? I mean, did you have to trim before you... No, I'm not that hairy. I mean, your whole body is a bit... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a man, I mean, that's a lot of No, no, hair. I've just got a bit here and then a bit down in the junk area. That's it. That's I, it? What about here, here? Well, some here, but I don't have, like, I don't have back here. I'm not a Kardashian. Come on. <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. All right. We're out of time. we got to uh, do it. Mouth organ... I don't do mouth organ. Mouth organ, awkward pause, or big cash prize. Mm. Don't do mouth organ. This would be a bad night. Mm, I, I know. I just saw a Stephen yeah. Teller doing that. Uh, big cash prize. What time is it, Sean Stephen? It's time for the big cash prize. Yeah. 50 American dollars and quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on it. Don't touch the money till well, you've earned it. I don't want any more parking tickets, so that'd be good. Well, this is great. This is perfect for you. All right. Uh, two ways to win. You can either answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Your Jeff box? Knows. Yes, box. Mm. It's not a double on turn, it's just a thing. Okay. And I don't know what's in the box. You try and guess what's in it. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. If you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. Involving ghosts. In boxes? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I'll guess what's in the box. Oh, okay. I'm imagining a box in my head. <laughs> Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, Jamie. What is in my box? A ghost. Jeff, is she right? We would have also accepted disco ghosts. That is correct. <laughs>